Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy and today I will be bringing you my review of the Transformers Universe Voyager class Treadbolt. And here he is in his pretty, pretty awesome, awesome looking alt mode. And this alt mode, and I'm just gonna, I guess, mention this now instead of uh, what when I usually do in the robot mode. This mold is a repaint, just to get out of the way, it's a repaint of the Transformers Classics Voyager Jetfire. It's a straight repaint, so essentially this is just a blue Jetfire. And that figure, with along with this one included, is supposed to be well, the Classics Jetfire, which this is a repaint of, the this alt mode was based was it was essentially was based on the generation one figure and which that was based off of a f-14 tomcat fighter jet and so that entire thing was just to me explain that this is that this is that this vehicle mode is based slash inspired by the f-14 tomcat so yeah he's a repaint of a classic jet fire and yeah check this out Look at all this stuff. He's got boosters. He's got missiles down here. He's got little guns over here. This guy is armed to the teeth. And that is awesome. It's a very, very cool uh, jet. And cool thing, he actually I can actually un unarmor him. So uh, these uh, boosters here. Well, before that, let me just show you. He actually gets uh, an attack mode. These boosters actually have flip-out cannons. When you pull this back, it flips out the cannons. Just pull this back. Flip-out cannons. And there you go, he's even more heavy duty. So that heavy duty. And then you can even pull out these wings. So yeah, this you could say this is an attack mode. So let me pull that back in. Remember, you slide from back here. Right. And also, let me just pop this off. You can actually pull off these uh, this booster pack with a hidden ga cannons. I'm going to put this off to the side and I'll bring this back in when he's in robot mode. And let me show off. Oh, and I take off these uh these guns, which they peg into what is essentially the robot mode hands. You peg them in there, and that's how you uh hide the hands in his vehicle mode. So put these off to the side. So yeah, this is the jet. And if you look at pictures from this angle, from like here back, it looks just like an F-14 Tomcat. The biggest difference is this um, is the where the is the cockpit and the nose cone is is completely different. Um, he also comes with landing gear and and this front landing gear can roll. That's it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen this, and the back ones also roll. So he actually can roll on a on a on a smooth flat on a flat smooth surface. He can actually roll and rolls quite well. And and obviously you can close up the landing gear. Let me just show that. Close it up, close that, and close, close that, and there you go. Also, just a little bit more opposability if you want to call it. These wings can move up and down, up and up, and these, and these main wings can close and open up. So there you go. So let me close them back up. And there he is. Oh, and one really cool fact I found out is that this cut, this paint scheme, this blue and gold. I also like how it says here, air defense. Nice Autobot symbol. But this blue and gold is actually uh, not based on the uh, original character of Treadbolt, although I think he did have these colors. But this is actually uh, inspired by the um, the U.S. Navy's uh, demonstration uh, a jet squadron, the uh, Blue Angels. Yeah, they had like if you if you look up the blue the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels, which was a uh, it's a squadron of fighters, uh, fighter jets that do stunts and demonstrations. They have they have this color scheme of a primary blue with a yellow stripes. That is actually really cool. I didn't know that before. I found that when I was doing research on uh, Treadbolt for this uh, video. That's cool. This is so yeah. That is actually really neat. So enough gushing over the. Uh, Really nice jet mode, even though, yeah, there's kibble under here, and you can see the hands, but it, it, it's come to be expected with jet formers. But yeah, this is a very, very solid jet mode. Really cool. So, let's get on to a uh, transformation. And we start off by coming back here, lifting this up. 
Uh, let's close these up for now and come to the front here flip that forward and also I'm gonna and also I'm gonna pop this off I'll, I'll, I'll review what this is what uh what this is later but yeah these were these are essentially the guns but I'm gonna pop that off to the side when I um armor him up and as you can see that's a uh, treadbolt's regular head so have that there and then you come here you unpack this unpick this from here rotate this forward rotate this around oh I am missing what's supposed to go in here are two launchers these are two uh, missile launchers and I'm missing the missiles I lost them a while back when I was messing with them also lift also what you do now is lift this piece up just lift it and rotate it up there like move it like this you move it forward around until it goes up here and then rotate this well you rotate the head around forward and fold this like that and it doesn't really clip into place but it's uh, it kind of does it has like a soft click there so at least eh. oh it does yeah you, you clip it there you clip this there right there and it'll go it'll peg in there and it's a tight really tight up peg so separate the arms a bit pull out the legs you just pull them out and this is kind of an automorph but when you when when you move one part of the foot one part of these uh i guess exhaust ports or thrusters it moves the back for the heel so there's his legs there's the, there's the stuff let me lift it up let me lift my camera he's gonna get he's getting tall now and now for this part's kind of interesting. You separate this and then fold it like that. You'll hear some soft clicks here. Then you fold this down, fold this all the way down, then put it there. As you heard, it has a click to it. And that's it. This is Treadbolt in his in his robot mode. He's really neat. He's really cool little robot mode. Let me get a close up of his head. This is jet. This is a not jet fire, even though yeah, this is basically a blue jet fire. But yeah, this is his uh, regular head, which is kind of neat. It's a bit. It's a bit small, but there is a reason for that, and I'll get into it in a, in a moment. Let me show off a bit of our articulation. Arms go that far. Can move. Are nice ratchet joints, which can move 360. Can. Well, Ratchet joint there can bend that far. The head is on a ball joint, and I think it's the only ball joint. So ball joints do what ball joints do. Ratchet for the elbow can rotate at the wrist. Legs can do a very, 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 very nice kick. Also, hips are on ratchets. This is actually like on a double ratchet because. You have there, see there's a ratchet here, ratchet here, it's nothing but ratchets, and there is rotation here. And that is it. So yeah, he has a very, he has a pretty nice articulation, nice ratchets everywhere. Minus the head, he has ratchets everywhere. So he's a very, very, he's a very sturdy figure. And now, to, now I'm going to explain the whole reason to have him. How I have him right here is sort of, um, how would I call this? This is his, um... Let's just say civilian mode. This is his uh, basic, like, friendly mode. I can actually armor him up. He can get weaponed up. First, let's bring back the booster. Well, no, not yet. I'll, I'll leave it to the side, but let's get the, the booster pack. First, let's get his guns. His guns here, he can obviously hold them together, you know, like he did in his vehicle. You can have them both, but what I like to do is combine them. You can combine them like this. Like this. And I guess I'm... Well, no, 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 I'm not going to mention it. See, they combine together like that, and then just pop it on his hand, and there you go. He now has a double, he has a double barrel cannon right on, as his, uh, as his gun. And like I said, these are also missile launchers, I just lost to the missiles. These would be the switches to shoot, to shoot them, and they're uh, spring-loaded. So he would have these guns as well, this main gun, the, um, the thrusters here, you can plug them back on like so like so and this makes him incredibly top heavy so let me move camera up a bit more 
to show them off. But here's something you can do. Flip, flip out the cannons. Flip out both cannons. And then you can actually move it. Hold on. Peg this back on. There we go. And these cannons can actually move down. You can actually turn these down. And now he has his cannons out. So now he has more guns. And now for the probably the I think the, one of my favorite features on this figure, he gets a helmet. Which yeah, in his vehicle mode, these were those were the side guns in the, uh, near the cockpit. Yeah, he gets a helmet, which you just slide onto his regular head, and there we go. And I and I consider this armored up, a uh, tread bolt. So yeah, this this is actually a pretty cool figure. Let me get him into frame. Plus these uh, antenna thing, these are actually cannons. These aren't antennas, these are actually, these double as cannons. And still has the same, same amount of uh, movement in his head. It's the same really nice uh, range of movement. So yeah, and like check out this helmet, this helmet sculpt. This helmet sculpt. This is a really cool looking helmet. This is how I like to have him displayed in his armored up mode. Because it just, it looks so awesome. And he has the thrusters, the boosters, the extra cannons, everything. It just looks... The missile launchers on his hands. This guy just looks awesome. He's just a cool... So yeah, like... like I guess one tiny downside is that when he has his booster on, he's pretty top-heavy. But you, you can, like, you just gotta get used to it. Just, like, if you finagle him a little bit, you can, you can get him to work. There you go. So yeah, obviously, I love this figure. It's an awesome, awesome figure. Like, uh, very nice jet mode, cool features all over with all of the weapons. Nothing gimmicky at all, just, it's, it's awesome. Um, solid transformation, and a very nice robot mode, so it's, it's great all across the board. Cool, cool alt mode, cool transformation, uh, neat transformation, and really cool robot mode, on top of having two separate kinds of modes. On, like, you have his, a uh, regular, and then you have armored up. Which is just, it's really, that's a really, really nice feature. So yeah, I highly recommend Treadbolt here. I guess the only other thing I can say, uh, he was never repainted. Whoops. He was never repainted. So he was basically, so Treadbolt here was the last time that this mold was used. Which is kind of sad, because I think this is a very cool mold. Um, let's see, the first time it was Jet Classics Jetfire. And then that was actually repainted into... Um, I think a, a convention exclusive Dreadwing, no, not Dreadwing, Dreadwind, difference there, just Dreadwind, not Dreadwing, and then, um, and then, it was eventually, and then it was finally, and it was eventually repainted as Treadbolt here, which is the, um, final, the final time this mold appears, which was, again, kind of sad, this is actually a really cool and solid mold, so, uh, yeah, he's fantastic. And now, I guess the I guess the only lingering question is, why did I choose a Treadbolt, like the lesser known Treadbolt over the more well known Jetfire? Honestly, I never had a Treadbolt. I like I actually really like the blue and gold, and I just I don't have a Treadbolt. I do now with him. I don't. So like I said at the at the time I, I actually I I, yeah. I thought this guy looks better than Jetfire. But honestly, I think either or is fine. It's a fantastic figure. If you want, you, you, you can either go get Jetfire or or that exclusive Dreadwing. I think the colors are a bit off on the Dreadwing. I think it's too 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 off. I don't know. It doesn't look right. So yeah, um, yeah. I personally prefer Treadbolt here over Jetfire because I think the blue and gold look looks a lot better than the white and red on uh, at least on the classics version of this uh, on the classics Jetfire. So yeah, and, and pretty much, yeah, the, the simple answer of why I chose Treadbolt over Jetfire is because I don't have a Treadbolt, and he's, and this character doesn't pop up very often. Jetfire is well known, so you're, you're almost guaranteed to see him uh, pop up a few times. Hint, hint, just hinting something there. Like, there's a reason why, I because I, I got hit, there is like, I don't have a Treadbolt. Which means, I'm kind of giving away a future review there, but yeah, hint, hint, but yeah, Treadbolt, awesome.
So this has been my review of the Transformers. Was it Universe? Yeah, Transformers Universe Voyager Class Treadbolt. This is Composite Energo, signing off. Peace out.